My name is Song Kim. In this video, I'm going to introduce the research of every round algorithm in CKKS bootstrapping. CKKS, the topic of this research, is a homomorphic inclusion scheme. Homomorphic inclusion scheme is an inclusion scheme which supports computation on a ciphertext without decrypting it. Consider a situation as follows. The message is owned by a client and the computation method is provided by a service provider on a server. How can the client get the result inf without informing the message to the server? Homomorphic encryption scheme addresses such a situation by supporting three operations, encryption, decryption, and a method to evaluate the computation homomorphically on a ciphertext. Given those, the client may get the desired result by encrypting their message, sending the ciphertext to the server, and decrypting the result ciphertext. CKKS is a representative homomorphic encryption scheme, which is widely known for its ability to encrypt the real numbers and to perform approximate arithmetics. One challenge of the early CKKS was that the depth of evaluation circuit is limited in detail. A CKKS ciphertext belongs to a certain space called modulus, and the size of this space diminishes for each multiplication. After applying a fixed number of multiplication, the ciphertext would be run out of the size of modulus, so it could not be evaluated any further. CKKS bootstrapping is a technique which is invented to solve this problem. Bootstrapping is an operation which recovers the ciphertext modulus Whenever the modulus is depleted, we can bootstrap the subtext and continue evaluating the circuit on the bootstrapped one. This enables CKKS to allow evaluation of unlimited depths. In other words, CKKS successfully becomes a fully homomorphic ingression scheme. The problem is that despite of the fact that bootstrapping is an operation which recovers modulus, it consumes modulus at the same time. Bootstrapping algorithm consists of a few steps, and the first step, which is called mode race, the ciphertext gains the original modulus already. However, as this ciphertext does not encrypt the original message exactly, the rest of the steps recovers the original message. As those steps are big combinations of additions and multiplications, the modulus is consumed again. Therefore, such modulus consumption directly determines the available depth of evaluation after bootstrapping. In this research, we are focusing on reducing it to maximize the efficiency of the bootstrapping algorithm. To reduce modulus consumption, we suggest a new bootstrapping algorithm called EBRound. EBRound algorithm can be constructed by giving two simple modifications on the conventional bootstrapping algorithm. The conventional algorithm contains four steps called mode race, curve to slot, even mode, and slot to curve. To construct the around algorithm, we first modify curve to slot to its variant by just adjusting a parameter. To be more specific, we use lower scale factor. This change makes the step to consume much less modulus yet calculate the result imprecisely with a non negligible error. Second modification follows to deal with such error. We alternate even mode step to even round by simply performing two extra subtractions. Even round step is simply to the original even mode step, but it has its own merit on being stable to the error. The main motivation of the algorithm is as follows. Even round can be explained as the homomorphic computation of modular rounding, while even mode is the homomorphic computation of modular reduction. The function of modular reduction and modular bounding can be drawn as on the figure. As the relationship of those two functions is trivial, one can easily replace one another. However, we can observe that the modular bounding is stable to the input error, unlike modular reduction. So our algorithm takes the advantages here, so we can successfully reduce the modulus consumption. By applying our algorithm described so far, we could obtain the result as shown. We have implemented our own CKKS code and tested the algorithm on a practical parameter. We could reduce the modulus 
consumption by 84 bits with a sufficient amount to gain one or two evaluation depths after bootstrapping. This is more effective on the parameter which has heavy bootstrap circuits and thereby provides relatively low extra evaluation depths after bootstrapping. Another important point of this algorithm is its portability. As the round is constructed by tweaking the conventional one, this technique can be attached on every existing implementation of conventional bootstrapping with a negligible effort. To sum up, we have successfully reduced the modulus consumption of bootstrapping and improved its efficiency with a simple yet effective algorithm. This ends our video. Thank you for listening.